Our survey results show that 92% of charity professionals and industry experts believe virtual events are worth keeping after the pandemic. It's really consistent with what you guys just said. And they listed some of their top reasons why they think that's the case. First, cost and time saved. On average, charities spent half the time planning and executing their events and half of their usual in-person budget. Yes, there is different expenses, but mapping everything out all together, it actually ended up being a lot cheaper. Ease of execution. Virtual events are now just a new er, a new tool in the charity toolbox. Uh, virtual events take less time and money and can easily be produced in addition to other yearly events. A uh, little sneak peek, let's dive into that a little bit further as you get towards the end of this presentation here. Beyond that, increased geographical range, we're no longer bound to, even like this, we're not just bound to people in Lower Mainland, we've got people all over the world joining us today. Cheaper for donors, lower costs for charities meant that they could actually increase potential donor reach, but the end net amount that they raised still ended up being the same as a result. Less manpower required. Imagine Canada did a study and saw that one third of charities in Canada had seen a reduction in staff due to layoffs. And with virtual events, we actually don't require the same level of staff and volunteers to execute. And so organizations were still able to go forward with them regardless of those changes. And then virtual event uh, fundraising elements. On average, organizations that included three or more fundraising elements doubled the amount that they raised compared to organizations that did two or less fundraising components. And the ability to create um, those opportunities for your donors to contribute, even if they're not in the room or they're not uh, participating in the event, allows you to go a lot further with how much you're able to raise. So we can see that virtual events and organizations that took the plunge to do a virtual event in 2021 succeeded. And we know that virtual events are here to stay. I mean, you guys said what, 8.9% or 89% of you said yes. Our other study said 92, so very comparable numbers. And we're seeing that there is advantages that our donors are recognizing as well as our charities.